I can't imagine this experience, mine and so many others I've heard about, being a situation that people have to go through alone. And I'm going to do what I can to make sure that doesn't happen. You can go. You can start all over again. You could try to find a way to make another take over. My husband and I have lived in Florida for 38 years now. He was a real good dad, good husband, and uh, he and I have been supporting Tidewell for many, many years. husband and father we got married very very young we were married almost 60 years to the month when he died that was my friend my lover my everything we just had a good life we grew up together and took care of one another and that makes it really hard you know when someone passed maybe you could change your mind you can Done. You could shine a little light on everything around you Man, it's good to be someone uh, My brother was a snowbird and the first season here he fell apart physically. I chose to take care of him for three and a half years toward the end of his life. I respect him so much for this because he chose to live with the hope that there would be a cure. I knew for sure that wasn't going to happen, and I felt very alone and scared. He ended up having a, a number of different cancers. And I kept saying, I can do it, I can do it, I can help him, I can take care of it. But um, it finally got so, it, he just almost overnight got worse. So then I gave in and I called hospice. Uh, they came, checked him on Monday and Tuesday. They had everything in there. They were there for a whole month and they were wonderful. My husband just loved the people that came in. He loved all of them. They honored him for being in the service and pinned him, and that was wonderful, you know, because he knew he was dying. Um, this just brought his spirit back. It was very, very nice. It was very tearful, and it made him so happy. If you throw it all away, then maybe you could change your mind. Done. You could shine a little light on everything around you Man, it's good to be someone I really don't know how Tidewell became a possibility for us that someone recommended it. We were so well cared for. Between us, we both needed support. They were just like family. They took care of him just like they would of their own parents, their own children. I want to promote Tidewell as much as I can. I really do. I want to, you know, um, get everybody that can possibly get into it interested in what they do. I think I waited too long. I should have got them in earlier, but I didn't realize at that time that you could call them and they're the ones that make the decision. They, they're experts at that. They know when, when it's ready to have some help. Go ahead and call them and then they'll tell you.
so grateful to the bereavement counseling because it, it's been absolutely wonderful. It was very hard at first, but everyone in the group knew what you were going through. You're doing a wonderful, wonderful job. God bless you. Tidewell's wonderful. I donate because, as I said, I, I want very much to be comfortable with the notion that there are other people who can experience the, the love, the care, and the quality of care that my brother ha and I had. And I want hospice, Tidewell specifically, to give the best level of care that is available. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and it is the most important thing you'll do in your life.